Here's a fun 16 card game that will drive the spectator utterly crazy. Because no matter what they choose, they just keep losing. And you, as the performer, keep winning. Okay? So I have here uh, 16 cards. As you can see, kind of a random collection of values and suits and colors. Now the goal is going to be to match up even value cards with even value cards and odd value cards with odd value cards. Okay, so that's kind of the ultimate goal. And the randomization that we'll be using to mix our individual piles will be something called the Australian Down Under. Now that shuffle is very effective in just destroying the order of a packet of cards. So it really is a very good shuffle for just scrambling a packet of cards, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'll do some initial mixing uh, decided by you. The first one's called a first shall be last and a last shall be first. This is where I begin dealing out until ideally you tell me to stop. And then I'll go on to the next pile. Stop, okay. Stop there, okay. Stop there, okay, very good. The first shall be last. And the last shall be first. So you just stack in opposite order. That's all that means. Should we do one more of those? Yes? Okay. Tell me when to stop. Stop there. Okay. Stop there. Stop there. Very good. First shall be last and the last shall be first. Okay. So how this will work is I'll go ahead and just deal out uh, two piles. Dealing to you first, which is customary. Okay, sorry, we're kind of going off camera there. Okay, now from this point on, all of the choices will be made by you. Now, since you're not here, we will have to use a random event for some of these decisions. So I have a die over here on the side. Okay, so how this will work is... Um, whichever pile I have, I'm going to perform the Australian shuffle, okay? Now, at any point between the different stages of the game, you can say switch packets, and we'll go ahead and switch packets, okay? So, um, so let's begin. Do you want to keep your packet, and I'll keep mine, or do you want to switch them? Okay, so we'll use the die to decide that. Let's say if it comes up even, we'll leave the packets as is. If it comes up odd, we'll switch them. Okay, uh, but just know that if you were here, you could say switch or just leave them. Okay, so it's odd. So we're going to switch packets. Okay, so the little packet then is that's going to be Australian shuffled is the one here in front of me. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, it's, it's quite a fun shuffle. It's down, under down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. The last one goes on top. Okay, so let's see how we did. The goal is to try to match up evens with evens and odds with odds. So what kind of intuition do you have? You're the one that decided, or the die is, <laughs> whether we should switch the packets. So let's see how successful we are. How many matches do we get? Or how many matches do you get? Okay, so that's a no match. Uh, that's odd. This is even. So it's zero. <laughs> zero out of eight. There's eight possible matchings. Uh, that's a fail. That's even. That's odd. So sorry, zero out of eight. Another fail. Mm, too bad. Uh, another fail. That's odd. This is even. Another. F You're not doing so well. <laughs> you don't have a single one. And you still, now an ace is a one. You probably know that. So that's odd. This is even. Oh man, you should be able to get just one by chance alone. I can't believe it. That's odd. This is even. Are you going to get any of these? No, you're not. That's even. This is odd. Man, oh man. You've got to be the most unlucky person on planet earth okay well here's your chance to remedy the situation uh, because this next turn's mine so do you want us to keep our packets as is and i'll go ahead and perform the down under on this one um, or do you want to switch okay you want to just keep the packets as it oh that's sorry i, I keep forgetting <laughs> we're supposed to be using this random event okay we'll use the random event oh that went off the screen sorry about that 
Uh, three. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> the universe says we're going to switch them again. Okay. And I really wish you were here because then, you know, you could decide that and feel a little more comfortable with it. But just know that this switching is truly a free choice for the spectator. Okay. But the universe said switch. Okay. So I'm going to perform the down under on the pile that's uh, temporarily assigned to me, right, by the universe. Okay. Last one goes on top. So how did I do? You got zero out of eight. So if we're keeping a tally of the total, uh, you're not doing so well. <laughs> okay, how did I do? Did I get them to match up evens with evens or odds with odds? I did, right? Two and 10, those are both evens. So I got one out of eight. <laughs> These are both odd. I got two. Yes, I got, a, that's a one. Two odds, two evens. Two odds. How is this even possible? Two evens. Two evens again. And two odds. Look at that. I got eight out of eight. And I'm sorry to say that you got a big old goose egg. You got zero out of eight. Okay, so let's just do a couple more rounds here. So, uh, do you want the packet switched or left the same? Well, if you were here, you could state that, but here we're going to use the die. Up, oh, three, <laughs> we switch again. Um, now, if you're starting to think that I'm playing with the die or something, uh, why don't we do it, we'll roll it a second time, okay? Just so, because <laughs> so far we haven't kept our own packets. So you might be thinking, oh, okay, is there something up? So we'll roll it again, but if it comes up odd, it comes up odd. It comes up even. Okay, that's just fine. So we'll just leave our packets as is. Uh, that's what the universe has decided, and very possibly you would have decided that as well. Okay, so what that means is I have a little, a little bit of work to do. I've got to do the a down under shuffle, okay? The Australian down under. Such an amazing, magical shuffle here. Okay, so now it's your turn. Okay, let's see how you do this time. I'm, I'm feeling like you'll probably do better. Uh, we're off to a rocky start. Even, odd, zero. <laughs> odd even, odd even, even odd, uh, odd even, even odd, man, oh man, you haven't got a single one, even odd, I can't believe it, look at that, zero out of 16 now. Okay, well, why don't we do one more? You've done it twice, and this will be my second time. Uh, so, should we switch packets or leave them as is? So, let's find out. Uh, switch. One is odd. We said that if it's an odd number, we would switch. Okay, so let me get to work here. Down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down. Last one goes on top. Okay, so, so far it's zero out of 16 for you, and it's eight out of eight for me. So, I mean, it looks like I'm going to win no matter what, how, no matter how this last turn turns out, but maybe we could have gone on for the best out of three or something, but let's see how I did for my second time. Uh, two odds, <laughs> two odds. Oh, that's so uh, that's a, a success. Two evens, yes. Two evens again. <laughs> uh, two odds. Oh, yep. Two evens. I'm getting nervous. I'm going to... My luck has got to turn at some point. Two odds. <laughs> yes. Two odds. And two evens. 16 out of 16 for me. Zero out of 16 for you. I am so sorry, but you are not very good at this game, okay? Um, so let's talk about what's going on. The reality is you could play this game forever and you would always nail yours as the performer and the spectator will always crash and burn with their matching. They'll never match anything, okay? Okay, so let's um, talk about uh, got some of what's going on here. Um, 
I don't know if we'll be able to explain all of the nuances, but uh, for those who have been watching videos on the SE Sequences playlist, which is where this um, little performance is posted. It may be posted in other playlists as well, but this involves something called BESI sequences. Okay, so a BESI sequence is any organization of dichotomous elements. Dichotomous just means um, they come in two kinds. Uh, red, black, zero, one, yes, no, on, off, good, bad, that kind of thing. So in our videos on the Bessie sequence, we've often used this quintessential representation, namely one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. Okay, so that captures the essence of the organization of a Bessie sequence. Okay, so the packet, if you were to rewind and look at it, it had the following structure. It had two evens, and then it had two odds, followed by two odds, so that's a total of four odd-valued cards, and then it had a pair of even-valued cards, a couple of odds, and then two evens, two evens, so four even-valued cards, and then two odds. Okay, so I've kind of summarized it right there as well, as far as how you would set it up. Okay, and then that shuffle I did at the beginning, the, the first shall be last, and the last shall be first, with the spectator saying when to stop. Uh, this is just equivalent to a packet reversal. It just reverses the order of the cards. So whether you do one of these, or two of these, or any number of these, um, it will not hurt where we're headed. Now, if you just do one, what it does is it reverses all of this, okay? But that won't hurt what's coming, which if you think about it, that's pretty darn amazing in and of itself. <laughs> so whether you reverse this or leave it as is, all will be well for your guaranteed winning of this game, okay? So you can do as many of those as you like. Now, I did a left-right. I dealt to you, then me, left-right, left-right, okay? And that created two piles of eight cards each, right? Now, each of those piles will have a very special structure. Namely, they will be Bessie structures. So what does that mean? Well, if we have um, even re represented by a one and odds by zeros, which is kind of convenient because they kind of look similar as far as the symbols, what we're looking at are just Bessie sequences. And this one will be identical. They'll actually be coupled piles is what we call them. Now, coupled piles, that just refers to the property of the piles that at each level, so think of this is the top. That's the top card, second, third, all the way to the bottom cards. Well, if you just look, the top card of each of the piles is an even value card. The next one is odd, odd, even, and so forth. Okay, so these are individually little, you know, Bessie sequences. It's almost kind of a fractal. If you've studied fractals, the, this is just a little scaled down version of the bigger one. Okay, now right now, if we were to go through and check the top cards, look, they're going to match in parity. Parity refers to whether the card is even or odd. Okay, so the even or oddness <laughs> will match as is. Okay, but if you think about it and remember, so after I dealt left, right, left, right, I then gave you the choice to number one, switch our packets. Won't make any difference, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then I would go ahead and perform the Australian down under shuffle on the packet in front of me. The grand secret here is that the Australian shuffle converts a Bessie sequence into its inversion. Inversion just means ones become zeros and zeros become ones. Well, a simpler way of thinking about that is it will look like the cards have just been reversed in order. So what that means then is if I do an Australian uh, down under, so the Australian down under, what it will look like is just a reversal of this one. So it'll be zero. So you have, uh, so we have a zero as odd. So we have odd, even, even, odd, even, odd, 
odd, even. Okay, so it just switches those. And so now, when you, as the spectator, go to try to match up the top, you know, top cards, the second, and so forth, they're going to be perfectly out of sync. They will not match in parity. This will be even valued, this one will be odd, and this one will be odd, and this one will be even, and so forth. So they, none of them will match, okay? And then at that point, it goes on to being my turn, but you're still given the choice, should we leave the current assignments of the packets, you know, your packet in front of you, you'll use, and the packet in front of me, I will use for the next stage of the game. So you, you decide that, and then once that's decided, I perform the Australian down under on the packet that's now in front of me. Now it may be the same one, right, if we haven't switched, or it could be now this one. Well, think about it. If it's the same one that I just did the Australian down under shuffle on, what it does is it, quote, inverts this back to a structure type that looks just like the original. Well, this one over here hasn't been changed. Okay, so now for me, when I go through and check the top cards and the second down and the third down and so forth, they're all going to match. You know, evens with evens, odds with odds. Okay, whereas if you decide to switch packets and now this one becomes yours, that's yours there, and I get this one, and I perform the down under shuffle on this, it just changes this one to its inversion which will just switch zeros for ones and ones for zeros, okay? So it does the same sort of thing it did over there, okay? So the net effect will be that for me, these two packets of eight cards will match in parity at each level, okay? As you go down, I'll get a pair of evens, then I'll get a pair of odds, and then odds, then evens, and so forth, okay? So I thought I would share this fun 16 card game with you. Um, I designed it, oh, about 20 minutes ago <laughs> before I started filming. Um, but it's just using principles taught on the Hidden Structures channel. And in particular, it's taking advantage of the remarkable properties of Bessie sequences and the fact that they are unharmed by, or mathematically speaking, they are invariant under many, many systematic shuffling procedures that we use today. And in particular, they're invariant under the Australian down under. And that's what we're taking advantage of here. And by the way, invariant in the study of Bessie's sequences, it doesn't necessarily mean that you get like this sequence here, or this sequence here, one zero. It doesn't mean that you get that back after an Australian shuffle. It means that you'll get this back or its inversion. And that will always be true for all of the shuffles that we apply to Bessie sequences. We'll either leave them as they are of the exact structure type or it will convert it into its inversion. Well, in the study and use of Bessie sequences, both of these are equally valuable. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt anything that it switches it to its inversion, okay? And in fact, here, we're taking advantage of the fact that it does switch it to its inversion. Well, that's probably enough. So take a look at some of the other uh, videos on the Hidden Structures channel. Uh, there's many, many playlists and videos of card effects, uh, most of which have some kind of tutorial. Sometimes it's written up, sometimes it's just verbal that goes along with it. And you'll find effects at all different levels, uh, even though really anyone can perform any of them if they just follow the procedures involved, even though they may not understand exactly how it works and why it works, okay? But that's actually the case for most, quote, self-working card effects on YouTube. People that uh, use these self-working, uh, in other words, mathematical card effects, 99% of them have no idea why they work, and they even tell you that. Um, so it's not imperative that you understand all of the mathematics to actually be able to make good use of this and create some real fun with the spectator. So thank you for watching.